What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Project Iceman. I'm bringing you another episode of Pokemon Empyrean. Uh, in the last episode, we reached Naraku Village uh, through the the cave that we went through before. I forgot what ca the cave was called. Was it Naraku Cave? I forgot. Um, we fought against Blitz in the last episode um, and got to here. So now we're going to be uh, going around and looking for... Um, I'm guessing it's the gym leader? I explored all of the areas in the village um, already, and I believe the gym is just up north. There's a paper with a text glued to the straw door. Have you come here to defeat the gym? Sweet, me too. Let's have a warm-up battle. I heard Damon uses ghosts and psychic type Pokemon. Pretty spooky if you ask me. Hey, you're pretty good, were you? Where did you get your Pokemon? For lunch, I have creamed corn, creamed corn, cre Okay. A challenger, are you? Wait, no, you are. The light shines on the covers, and the truth reveals itself. Is your wish to get this badge? I love making wishes come true. Here, I'll give it to you. Oh, wow. We go, we're just going straight into it, huh? Dark pulse. Oh, I was, I was almost, th I almost thought that that was a what you call it, uh, a Zorak hunter. It's actually amazing how fast Nate Fan is. Gengar. Yeah, I can't be faster than Gengar, though. There's that multi scale coming in. Oh, well, okay. Yikes. As expected. Why is the text... With that badge, all Pokemon up to level 999 will be your slaves with, with that quest. Congratulations. You, you. The remains. Did you find the remains? Oh lord. Of her body. In your body. What? Oh, whoa, whoa! Okay, now that's creepy as hell. A plastic badge. Thank you. 
What? Oh, Lord. We can hear a voice coming from inside the well. I had a feeling. Oh! Oh, oh, oh hell no. Oh, hell no. <laughs> what is up with this game? Dark. Oh, okay. Hey, is someone there? Help! Oh, it's Hessa! Shen, is that you? Boy, am I glad to see you. Oh, gosh. Thank you so much for getting me out of there. Hessa? I'm glad to see you, too. In fact, I was looking for you. Oh? Yeah, but we can talk about that later. For now, I'd say our priority is to get out of this place. What is going on, even? I don't know. I've been wandering around for hours. Or days. I was so scared. Because everyone's gone away. And I couldn't leave the village, no matter how hard I tried. That Damon mister. He told me that if I wanted to progress, that I needed to awaken my hidden potential. I don't know what that meant. It, he gave me a headache. Wait. This happened after I fought him as well. Hidden potential. Let's put up for now and try to find a way out. There has to be one. Okay, I'll look around. Maybe something's changed now that you're here, Shen. There are voices coming from the water well. Perhaps you should take a look. Oh, was that because was that from Hessa? Okay, maybe maybe I already uh, dealt with that. You found this place too, huh, Shin? But how are we supposed to go through? I believe you can do it, Hessa. D do what? I'm not sure. If we are in some sort of illusion caused by that Damon guy, and he told you to awaken your hidden potential, maybe you can go through somehow. Gee, that's flattering all, but... I... But... Maybe you're right. I'll do it. I believed in myself and my little Pichu up to until now. I just gotta believe some more. Shen, what took you so long? I was right behind you. That's mighty strange. I waited here for a whole hour. Come on, we have to get to the end of this. Oh, those are stairs. I see. Heat rock. Hmm, that's weird. Okay. Uh, that needs to be addressed. That's just creepy. Okay. This is a revival of our Nate fan. And healed you guys up. Where 
There's my hyper potions. There we go. There be something here. All right. Flip a switch now. Bone, bone. If you talk to it, a stone, it and the other stones next to it will change the color tone. To release the magic spell, all stones you must turn gray and do it well. Okay. All the stones must turn gray. Hmm. So that brings back three is three. Let's see. Darn it. That's close. Okay. So this revives three, those three. I see. The corners tend to um, only deal with this one, this one, and this one. And then this corner does with this one, this one, and this one. So I wonder... This one does these. Interesting. So I guess the best option would be to have like a box of six. Like something like uh, right here. Let's see if I can manage to do something like that. Hmm, that's close to what I need. Something like this, and then something like this. That's ah, so close.
Okay, so... The middle tends to do... Like, something like this. Like the... The one on it, the one below it, and the ones beside it. And then this middle one tends to just do all four corners. Interesting. Okay. Let's see, if I do it like this, if I do this, uh, yeah, that's not going to work. Oh, this is going to be a complicated puzzle. Darn it. I was really hoping it would be this, this, and this, but nope. Uh... I see, so this one works for the sides and the one in front of it. Hmm. Probably not going to be beneficial for me. Let's see. Ah, so close. Oh, all right. Um, let's see. Hey, there we go. I got it. Boom. <laughs> Save the game here. I thought it would spell something, but apparently not. A key is required. Uh, 
It hides at the bottom of the lake. Chocolateriosa. Please don't hurt me. Carol said I would find it at, at the, on the top shelf. Top shelf. brings me back here, right? Oh, what? Can I catch this? Oh wow, I caught it! So it's pretty much Bayonet, but with a Teddy Ursa. Which is pretty fitting! Teddy Bear? Teddy Ursa, Reaper Pokemon. It is an old beat up stuffed Teddy Ursa doll that has come to life. It wields a scythe, but it is, but it uses it mainly for defense. What should I, who should I name this after? Uh, let me see if I can find a name. I don't think I named anything after you yet, right? Yeah, I'll name it after you. Oh, okay, it won't fit. Toy room key. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Pit stop. Why did you say pit stop? creepy.
Master Damon awaits you on the fourth floor, but first... Oh, I remember this mask music now. This is the music from uh, when we went to that temple. You may proceed. Oh, there are wild Pokemon here. Ooh, Litwick. Nice. While shining a light and pretending to be a guide, it leeches off the life force of any who follow it. Um, let's see. What should I name this after? I'll name it you. Yeah. Alan. Do you feel in control? Proceed. Ooh, Shadow Ball. Dusk I already caught one. Oh, not yet. Let's explore this area a little bit more. I'm in control of these straw dolls. Defeat me and I shall let you pass. Oh, wow. Mysterious. What just happened? Very well. I shall instruct the dolls to remove themselves from your path.
Give it a slow sweep. Oh, so that's where he's located? Sable Eye. Wait, Power Gem still doesn't work properly? Oh, wow. It digs branching holes and caves using its sharp, sharp claws in search of food, raw gems. So Sableye looks in darkness and is seen only rarely. Let's see, who should I name this after? Maybe that's Sean. How long have I been going so far? 34 minutes? The barrier has been lifted, it seems. Master Damon awaits you, gifted one. After this, we'll just... Oh, that did a lot. Why am I using Crunch when rock type moves are also neutral? Litwick. Proceed. All right, let's heal up. And then we can move that little bookshelf. And then we'll end the episode right there.
Are you in need of any items? Depends what you got. Shadow shield. I already have one of those. That's expensive. Wow. We'll buy 10, ten hyper potions. And 10 folios. Alright then guys, oh. We'll save the game, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Later.